Finance Day. I'm with Matt Lucas. Matt, how are you? Very nice to see you. So, Matt, you've done a lot in your life. How would you describe yourself? Oh, Chancer. Lucky. Um, uh, busy, though, so not complaining. Uh, I describe myself, I'm, I just try and work hard and, um, and then hopefully nice things come my way. So I do all those things, really. I started out, well, I was in school plays, you may remember, because we were at school together. And, well, um, and then I got into uh, a West End play when I was 14 and joined the National Youth Theatre, where I met David Williams at 16. And then at 18, I started doing stand-up comedy, but always in character, never really did it as myself. And, and then I sort of was just doing comedy stuff, really. And I was really lucky. I got on TV really young and um and did all that stuff with david and then i moved to the states and i was working a little bit with sasha baron cohen writing so i love writing as well and then and i've been in some musicals so i love singing and i'm now writing a musical so i just try and do all different things but i became uh the last sort of three or four years i i i kind of weirdly got that job on bake off which i did yes. for some years and I now co-host Fantasy Football League on Sky. So presenting has become this thing that I've been doing now, which sort of came out of the blue. Um, and sometimes I sit in for Zoe Ball on Radio 2 for the breakfast show. So I love live radio. That's really good fun. And yeah, I just sort of, um, I once when we were at school, this man, Jonathan Lynn, came to give a talk. And he... Yeah was a director and an actor and a writer. So he was one of the writers of Yes Minister. And he directed that movie, Clue, which was a big movie. And he'd acted in things like Fiddler on the Roof. He, so he, had, he was a real, a bit of a renaissance man. And I asked him what his favorite thing was. What did he like doing most? And he always said, whatever I'm not doing at the time. I like, I like doing different things. I like um, keeping it moving. So I'm now, uh, you know, in my late 40s, I'm writing my first ever musical. So I've written a novel and I'm adapting it. Uh, uh, I'm writing, you know, I wrote the book and I'm writing the music and the lyrics. So I, um, I've i taught myself chords on the piano uh, in the last few years and I'm, I'm doing that. So I like doing all different things. So tell us something kind of, how is it different? Like when you're talking to an audience or when you're talking to a camera? How do you how do you adapt? How do you change? Recently, I was doing Bake Off, which obviously is a closed set. And then I was doing Fancy Football League, which is done in front of a studio audience and it's topical. And we, you know, we record it and it goes out the next night. They're both, they're, they're different, but really, I just suppose just try and be myself and just try and stay in the moment and try and listen to people, you know, and uh, on both of those shows, if something unexpected happens that really works, you're allowed to go with it and see where it goes. Yeah. And on both of those shows, if something disastrous happens, they'll cut it. Uh, but from my years doing stand-up comedy, which I did for four and a half years, and all the live shows I did with David Williams, we did a tour for 18 months together. Um, I, I got used to doing live events and there's no editing there. And so that's a, that's a, that's a different discipline, but I love, I love live events. I really enjoy it because it's, it's, that's it. You're in that room. You're never going to be with all those people ever again. And so you can, you can create something really special uh, and, and sometimes magical just in that moment with those people. So I do, you know, even if I'm hosting an awards or something like that, it does, I do lean into my early stand-up days when I do it, you know, and and I also I love, I love talking to people, you know, I love yeah. it when people are, where people are actually there. But I did also in the pandemic do a lot of stuff on Zoom. Uh, yes. I was involved in this charity, Feed NHS, and had this viral hit, Thank You Baked Potato, which was a song I, I'd rewritten that I'd done years earlier. And then I was able to do collaborations that went viral with you know Gary Barlow and Sir Brian May and Ronan Keating and the cast of Coronation Street and all uh, amazing people the English National Opera where we were doing stuff like this like I'm talking to you now so I think that is also something that's probably not going to go away so I think doing this kind of work uh, uh, with you it's it's about live but it's also about 
communicating down the barrel like this. You obviously kind of your characters what historically were shied through. Kind of, have you ever done comedy? Have you ever done any stand up as yourself? So I didn't. Uh, so I always used to do characters, and that was my thing. That was all I was really interested in. And I did a um, a TV series a few years ago as myself, and I wasn't that interested in it. And I hadn't really. I kind of went, okay, well that was that. I tried it, and then Bake Off happened really weirdly because Noel Fielding had a dream that I was his co-host and thank goodness I was good in his dream so 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 I auditioned for that and I got the job and I don't know much about baking and I hadn't even seen the show before but I did it and I had a whale of a time and then that was sort of me as myself and I just went oh just go for it you know go for it and then on Fantasy Football League it's me as myself co-hosting that and oh can you hear that hooting outside? Maybe you can. Um, I think they've come to arrest me finally. Uh, I'm just renting a flat at the moment because I'm renovating my house and it's beautiful as you can see, but it's in a really noisy part of London. So um, I'm getting all the ambient sound effects. Uh, but um, yeah, so that was kind of Bake Off was my almost a new, well, it was a new birth, a new, a new career for me really in, in terms of being myself on camera which maybe I hadn't been, I wasn't confident enough to do it years ago, but I really enjoy it now, you know, and so uh, I love doing that. But I also, I still love doing characters, you know, it's still it's still fun. And, and me and uh, David Williams are developing a new series together. Um, and uh, so, but that's a long, long process, you know, doing that. But we'll play lots of different characters if, if, that, if that comes off, you know. So I've left Bake Off because it was just trying to fit everything in. And the Fantasy Football League is a big time commitment. But I'm, I love football. I love football. So that's great. So I do Fantasy Football League. I'm writing with David. I'm adapting my novel into a musical. Uh, and I've, I've got a deal to write another novel, which I may also turn into a musical. And then I've been uh, doing podcasts with uh, a friend of mine, Rob Houchin, all about stage musicals. And it's a podcast called Musical right. Heaven which will be launching later in the year where we get a different guest each time and we talk through their favourite musicals and which roles they'd like to play and which musical they'd never like to see again. And sometimes they're people who've been in musicals, so we talk about their career. Sometimes they're just people who, you know, we've had people like like uh, David Baddiel and Rob Bryden and Jennifer Saunders who haven't been in many musicals between them. Rafi and Carrie Hope Fletcher and Bonnie Langford who, who've sort of made a career in musicals. And then... On the podcast, we do that in front of an audience and we intersperse the chat with live musical performances from some of the West Amazing. End. Uh, yeah, so it's great. It's a lovely, it's a lovely podcast. It feels very special. I'm just editing them at the moment. So, yeah, so that podcast, uh, working on stuff with David, doing Fantasy Football League and doing the musical. So that is, um, I've, I've, got, I've got lots going on, but, um, but I used to uh, host awards and things like that uh, uh yes. and corporate stuff and I really I I used to really enjoy it I used to I, I like the challenge of it I like oh today you're doing the travel awards or today you're doing the the coffee awards I I I kind of embrace the the difference each one has to the other and think okay what jokes can I make about that and I like to learn about who the uh you know who the boss of the company is and and what can I joke about there and uh so I enjoy, I rather, I rather enjoy meeting those people and uh, having an insight into their world um, and, and, you know, seeing what I can learn about that and, and, and seeing where and how I can uh, make jokes and just also just help people to have a, a nice evening. Because people like me, you know, in my job, we get a lot of pats on the back. You know, we get all of that. We get, we get recognition and there's lots of awards, but it is, it is important that everybody who excels in their field gets acknowledged in that way. So I I enjoy being a part of that, you know, and helping people to have a, a special a special night. Matt, thank you so much indeed for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure and a lot of fun speaking to you and look forward to catching up soon. My pleasure. Nice to see you again.